All right, here's the video review for Transformers Legacy Evolution Core Class Scar. Uh, just like Swoop came in from CMD store the other day, and I'm um, happy to have him. Still waiting on Snarl. Please, please hurry quick with Snarl Hasbro. Well, these have come out a little faster than I was expecting them to uh, when they first announced them, so that's a bonus. But you can see he's an Ankylosaur, a new member of the team. Technically, I think from one of the old comics, uh, from one of the IDW comics, showed up at some point. But um, new to most of us anyway, Scar the Ankylosaur. Big, chunky Ankylosaur, too. Uh, his knobbly tail is, as you can see, a fist. A spiky fist with a laser gun almost kind of flipping you off, but not really because you can see he does, in fact, have all four of his fingers here. So that is not his finger. He has all five of his fingers because of his thumb. But he does kind of have a big fist hanging off his butt as his big knobbly ankylosaur tail. It's not in two pieces like Swoop, though. It is one solid piece. Although with Swoop, you can give one of his guns to Sludge since he didn't get one. I'm assuming Snarl will have one, but who knows. Maybe Snarl will come with a sword for the combiner. That would be cool. Uh, maybe they'll surprise us and release a slash down the line and that will turn into a sword for the combiner. We'll see. I haven't heard anything about that. Uh, somebody on Twitter said that would be neat. And I'm like, that actually would be a cool idea. Anyway, here's Scar. Big chunkly boy. He's fun. Different enough from Snarl. Did I say Snarl? He's Scar. Anyway, he's different enough from Snarl that he's still fun. And Ankylosaurs are fun too because they have big knobbly tails. Anyway, pop his big knobbly tail off. Becomes the fist. It will also has a peg here to become a gun in robot mode. And then you just flip his big legs down. Pictures show his these side legs pop up. And because of the way his legs are, he is, until they, until you get him rotated, it is, he, he does tend to like want to fall back, especially when you have the arms sticking out and you haven't rotated them around the proper way because now he's a little bit more back heavy. But I, I wish his feet sat a little flatter because when you have his knees even bent forward, they're just not quite on a, on a parallel plane to the body. Anyway. The arms come out like this. You can rotate the whole waist around. These small feet can kind of fold up onto his back. Here is his combiner peg. It sits on his back. His dinosaur head just flips back. Kind of over that combiner peg, you can, if you want to get that out of the way, you can fold that down and fold the dinosaur head further down on you in robot mode if you want. The arms are on a swivel here and then a ball joint here. And so if you just fold them back, they're not going to sit quite right. And that ball joint is really tight, so you kind of got to Rotate it around, get him down there. And there, there he's, he's a nice chunky boy in uh, robot mode as well. I mean, like you got rot swivel head, ball joint shoulders. There's no uh, elbow articulation. He's just got big chunky arms. Uh, he does have the waist swivel, which even with the peg down does have a pretty decent amount of waist swivel, and you can still lift that up a little bit to get more uh, if you want. Ball joint hips, ball joint knees. And that's about it. I do wish he had just a little bit more support here on his feet because he can tend to fall over backwards, especially if you don't have the arms like flipped up or something. Uh, when, once you get him, once you get his feet kind of spread a little bit, he sits a little flatter. But I just wish there was some sort of flip out heel or some piece that would give him a little bit more support uh, to stand up. Once you have the gun in his hand, he actually stands quite well because then you've got just that little extra bit of weight. He's not super back heavy, but he's just a smidge where it's not hard to. Anyway, I, I belabored the point. And you can give him his gun. And he's cool. I like him. He's just enough, different enough from Snarl uh, that I, I think he works. I like his dinosaur mode. Uh, I like his big bulky uh, shoulder pauldrons as well. He does a very similar thing to Swoop in that uh, kind of like his arms peg back together and again when folding back because of those ball joints you got to kind of very tight ball joints but then these these do peg together here like this uh, flip the dinosaur head up over the robot head peg the legs together these pieces actually come down again if you haven't flipped this peg out flip this peg down uh, you can see there's actually a cutout in the foot these actually come down and kind of lock the uh, the waist in place they don't really lock lock it but it, but it is there and then there's a peg here in the middle of the leg that fits into this peg hole in the middle of the fist. Like that, it does the same kind of thing that Swoop does, in that you do technically with the waist swivel, um, there you go, you can kind of bend his arm out and forward like this, and again, you can get the legs out of the way for more clearance on that. You can flip those up out of the way if you want to get that rotational piece, but then he's kind of monkey curl in his arms. Why are you not staying on there, fist? because I wasn't putting you all the way in the groove. There we go. 
but uh, otherwise he just kind of he has he has some elbow bend but not the way you'd want it to really which is slightly disappointing but not the end of the world considering that we're getting like core five core, six core class dinobots into a combiner at this scale but again just like with soup you want to kind of flip that up so you can put a finger behind it actually lift this up so you can see all of the body come on lock into place this tripod's getting old and it's hard, hard to lock into place anymore but take this in push it all the way in to the body there fold it down and there's a pretty decent approximation of what what we'll have all told we'll just have a different dinosaur down here well, i like that there is a visual distinction we can do here with the two grimlocks but i'm looking forward to having snarl one just to have snarl two to complete the combiner now supposedly this is going to be dino king down the road there's a lot of evidence for that um so I'm, I, I will buy this again as Dino King. But uh, I think this might be all told. I like it better than the Power of the Primes version of Volcanicus. I think just having... just Grimlock as a leg is weird, but I think having Slag there, Slug there as the chest plate really kind of brings that motif together. It's very Predaking-esque, I think. But I, I think using the six uh, and, and combining them... And of course, the, uh, the Tyrannosaur as the leg... Uh, also supports the theory of this being Dino King, who the, you know, the leader of Dino King did form the leg. So uh, there you go. Are there things I wish could be better on this? Absolutely. Um, I would love to see this kind of design scaled up to like Deluxes or Voyager class just to see how much more elegant they can make it. Because I mean, like there, there are absolutely some compromises for this size. I would like to have the fists, I wish, the, the hands for the combiner mode. I like how they made Swoop's uh, fists split apart to give him like the underwing weapons and, uh, and like double pistols in robot mode. Um, I just wish the integration into the arm mode was better than just kind of pecking the back of the the, the uh, forearm into the legs. And then I wish there I wish there was there more articulation in the arms themselves because you do have elbows but they're the wrong way. The fact that they've got nice uh, pinned shoulders and the hinge there at the shoulders gives you a lot of nice articulation this way and this way. And even bending this a little bit, you can, you can make him bulky and imposing like he's coming to, to smack some people around. But uh, I just wish... Uh, also, I think that the um, having Soup's wings out helps a little bit. But if you look, you can still tell between the legs and the upper body, Scar's a much bulkier robot than Swoop, so it makes one arm look... A little more uh, disproportionate than the other, um, and I would have liked it if they were maybe a slightly, uh, or, or maybe there's a way to do the arms in a way that kind of maybe they could come down and fill in some of this gap. I don't, I don't know what I want. It's just when you look at the arms, I feel like Swoop's a little skimpier compared to Scar. And as robots, that's that makes sense. Uh, as limbs, it's it's a little. Uh, asymmetrical, although all things considered, he's a little asymmetrical. They just did such a good job of using two bots for the torso that makes it more uh, bulked up and, 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 and properly proportioned that having the arms be weird like that is a little off. Not the end of the world. It's a fun little uh, combiner. Uh, the Dinobots themselves are, are, are fun individually for the, for the size class that they are. Um, but yeah, there's Scar and there's most of what Volcanicus will look like just waiting on the final leg piece with the best Dinobot. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be back soon with some more stuff. What am I expecting? We should have a Rise of the Beasts promo mailer coming soon. Looking forward to that. Um, Commander. I missed Commander Class Optimus on Big Bad Toy Store. I've got it pre-ordered a couple other places. So we'll see which one gets them first. I'm hoping Amazon gets it in soon because that will ship fast. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, again, thanks to CMD Store for getting these in and getting them to me fairly quickly. I like shopping there. They're up in Champlain, New York, uh, which is where I was born. Um, I was born up in Plattsburgh Air Force Base, which is right there by Champlain. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's kind of a little nostalgia there as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good week, and we'll talk at you soon.